So a while back, Ricky and Curtis and Ben went to a friend's house of ours to pick up some super rare stuff. And I'm talking some really rare stuff. This is a reference to prop from the movie. Now this time, Ricky and I are headed back, but I get to join along and something else. We have no idea what we're going to get. It could be crazy items, it could be not crazy. But you know us, there's only one way to find out, to head down and get out there. Well, we we're got, here. We, we never went in the garage, so this is the garage. Look, this is the first thing they showed us. Mortal Kombat 2. Arc Dude, it's actually quite clean. Look, here, let, me, let me see that. The graphic is all in there, not scratch anything like that. Look at the back, though. I love when everything has the mid, it has the midway, it has, oh my gosh. It, it, it's, to me, it's so much cooler than the one-ups. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. It does, well, yes, of course. It looks actually really clean. Let me see, I'll go around this side. It is pretty nice. Big Mortal Kombat 2 right there. The lightning coming from Raiden. Raiden. Yeah, that's cool. He was already saying that, you know, this might be something when we go inside where we could maybe, you know, work a deal out, bundle up together. And then Ricky also pulled this out from the abyss. I, we might have to add that to the final. Is it cool? Yeah, Nautis, dude. Santa Monica, just looking beautiful. What a good shape. This would be, I'm always loving putting them behind the podcast studio for the people to enjoy, so. Ricky, we love skateboards. Not a bad little start. Mm -hmm. You think we can put this on the SoCal account? What? What? Can we put all this on the SoCal account? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <Nance. laughs> Ricky! So after taking a peek inside of what's in the garage, it's a good start with the Mortal Kombat cab and the skateboard, but now we gotta go check out what's inside the house. Are you ready to rock? Sure, yes. Oh, you crack me up. <laughs> 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 so dumb. Can you see this? What? There's a, a bear right there. You see that? Yo! An actual bear. Hey, you know what else? Look what? at it. This is a case, the Black Eyed Peas tour case right there. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It's their touring case. I wonder what piece of equipment went in there. I'm guessing Fergie's underwear. <laughs> Right. I remember this from Ricky, the video of Ricky. This is looks like one big yard sale to me. <laughs> it is a big yard sale. A huge yard sale looks like. So tons of consoles. Look at that. I'm gonna put this down. The Nintendo, one, two, three, four, five Nintendos. Looks like 10 Wii's right here, Ricky. What else do we have? We Dreamcasts, use. Xboxes. This looks like the real garage sale section. This is like, Almost like if you owned a game store, like the accessory section, there's cables and controllers and all that stuff. Oh, look at this, what is this? I don't know if this is official, but it's officially cool. Will it fit me, Ricky? That's the real question. Uh, you gotta yeah. be honest with me. Actually, I Wait, mean, once I got past the sleeves? It's like that trunk style, you know when it's, when it's like tight? I mean, yeah, it's oh, a let me see that patch. It's a size small, look at this patch. Ricky, here's where the interesting stuff comes into play. Will you show me this? Did you see this last time or no? Yeah, but he wasn't selling it. But now he is? Now he is. I was always like, what? Okay, let's see. So it's, it's all in there. Last, if I remember it right, yep. It's all in there. So it's CD very... Bonks, and does that go for like the same range as the Bonks for Nintendo? No, 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 it doesn't okay. do It's not that crazy, but it's still pretty good. The box is so cool. It's crazy cool. Oh, the art style's great on that. The next there's like some like homebrews. I know they're just homebrews, but it's kind of cool. Like Devil World is one of the more famously known games. And then you have Splatterhouse, which by the way, these games did come out in Japan under the Famicom, but just to have them on NES carts is awesome. I love these acrylic cases too, just to kind of have, this is DuckTales here, it looks like with some accessories. Oh, Ricky! What? I know it sounds dumb. We need that. We don't even have balloon fight in the set. <laughs> so yeah, that's hilarious. As deep as we are in the set, we don't have a balloon fight. So if we end up buying all this stuff, uh, this will be, this will add one game to our set at least. Look at this, Ricky. 
Nintendo eyewear by Renaissance. Funny enough, I've actually found some Nintendo uh, eyewear cases back in the day. Even some of the glasses, they're not even that expensive, but I've never seen a sign for them. And funny enough, I didn't realize, because this is older Nintendo, I didn't realize how long they've been working together. Because I know even right now, if you go on eBay, you can find some of the glasses themselves for, you know, 40 bucks. But this is obviously old Nintendo. So to know the cross-branding, eyewear? What, what was the story behind them wanting to do eyewear? But regardless, back in the day, everybody cross-promoted with everything. So there wasn't really rhyme or reason. So this is another living proof example of that. Mario, that story was so beautiful. I'm ready to barf. What? So this is it, huh? The, uh, the pull Mario, I recently watched my buddy Cake do a video of him getting a pull Mario from SoCal. Uh, Mario's hand is in a position right now that I know Curtis would love. My disappointment is immeasurable. That's for sure. But uh, the pull is over there. And uh, yeah, it's funny. This is like one of those things that you see at Targets and there's always signs and I'm like, do not sell this, do not get rid of this. You must have like a Target or Nintendo representative here to get one of these, but they've trickled their way out. I mean, I've seen Romeo, I think had like eight of them at SoCal and Tony's had a ton of them. Ricky owns one himself. This thing resells for over $3,000 and Nintendo does not want you to own it. Well, today our journey may be finally coming to an end. I am surprised at how light this is, Ricky. Very light. I did not think it would be like this. With the pole, it makes it pretty heavy. Though. Oh, is the pole heavy? Yeah. I thought this would be, I kind of want to just keep it like this, dude. And like, Ricky, dude, you're disgusting, dude. It's officially cool. Dude, I love all these weird consoles. We don't run into a lot of these anymore, but the Odyssey, the voice, you got this one we ran into, but it's beautiful. The ColecoVision, so nice. We're missing one controller, but I think I think it's in here. But look at all these weird random consoles. From it's a lot of the old school one. Like look at the Commodore 64s right there. there. We have the TV for this. We could probably hook it up. We have three TVs for that. Three of them. Which by the way, we should hook up mine, by the way. Yes, we should. Let's get it ready. Let's get that going. But yeah, a lot of the old, and again, this stuff is more, oh, and there's the Commodore Vic, Vic 20. Is that Vic 20? That yeah. is a Vic 20 right there. But a lot of this stuff, again, it's almost like if we buy all this, we're kind of just doing it to get some of the stuff that's the heavier items that, which we'll show you in a sec that we just saw. Yeah. So that they, we can help them kind of just get all this stuff out of their way. There's a lot of these handhelds too. These are pretty dope. Cosmic Combat. You got, dude, I used to play this one, but check it out. Let's see if it still works. Oh, it does. Look, you actually hit it. Yo, I kind of, no keep on that. <laughs> Now we head back out to the garage because I heard Ricky saying my name. He's like, Riff, I found something really cool out here. Let's see what it is. We got Mario signs and everything else, but we don't have the enemy, enemy sign. Hammer Bros. Whoop. Hammer Bros. That's actually awesome. The Hammer Bros are some of the coolest characters within Mario Bros. Do you think the Hammer Bros are hard or do you find them easy to get by? When I was a kid, they were a little hard, but nowadays I'm just like, dude, I just run past them and plop them. Plop them? Plop them. Run past them and plop them? I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Good but, old Ricky. No, they're not hard. But this is cool. I wonder where that actually came from. Maybe it came from Universal Studio Nintendo Land, and that was in the section where the Hammer Bros are. That's oh. what it is. That's the story that we're selling people, and then we sell it for $2,000. Make it five. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to go back into the house because Ricky said this is like the creme de la creme. This is the cat's meow. This is the reason you drive down this far to find something this cool. I gotta see this. Oh boy. I always want this thing, but I just. <sighs> That's a hefty item. It's a very hefty item. And I know that is very, very expensive. 10 years of service, Mario statue. And it's crazy. Sometimes we've even noticed, you know, we you own some of the bigger Mario statues. Yeah. Some of the smaller ones are the ones that are worth the big money right now. Yeah, they're harder to find. This is the only item in the lot that I'm like, I don't know if we can get this. <laughs> <I know. laughs> so, Payment plan? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Wait, that doesn't go. <laughs> no, this would be DK Donkey Kong. He's finally here. And something, I'll be honest. I forget the rest. Don't tell. I don't really like Donkey Kong 64. It's not as good as Donkey Kong Country. It's not as good as everyone said on the internet just because everyone likes they like the Nintendo 64, but it's kind of an I'll take Mario N64 any day over Me too. Mario. Or Donkey Kong. Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. Mm, Diddy Kong Racing. Peak Diddy Kong. I don't even know what we're talking R. about. R. Kelly Kong? Whoa. This is interesting. So these Game Boy shells right here just found out that they actually came 
from the Nintendo Repair Center. So these aren't just like reshells that you would buy online nowadays you can find on eBay or Etsy. No, these are the ones that Nintendo actually used to reshell original Game Boys. This is so cool. This is one of those items where I didn't even think about that being a thing in existence. Now my brain wants to find like NES ones as well. Like what were the NES shells? He has a two of them right here. So that's a unique, unique item. I feel like this is something I'd love to take back because this is really cool. It's really unique, you never hear it, man. All you need is a Game Boy. It's a personal game playing system with over 200 puzzle, action, and sports games to choose from. Hey, fun is your reward for growing up. Start playing. You really gotta get one of these. Game Boy by Nintendo. Have you had your fun today? So we kind of found a box for little Samson. I gotta press pause really quick right here to tell you guys about our longest running sponsor, Squarespace. I love their videos collection. You can upload video content, organize your video library, and showcase your content in beautiful video pages or their online stores. Sell your products and services with an online store. Whether you sell physical goods, digital content, or services, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. I love me some analytics, and with Squarespace, you can measure your end-to-end -end online performance with powerful website and seller analytics. Get insights on top traffic sources, understand how your reach has grown, and learn where to focus new engagement. It's all the data you need to scale your brand or business, fully integrated and clearly displayed. Head down to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash pixelgamesquad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. It's always been wild to me that Little Samson has always been like the it game. It's always been the game within the Nintendo hunting scene that everyone talks about. When anyone's going for a full set, even though there's games that are much more expensive, for some reason, when someone says, hey, I'm collecting full NES set, they always say, hey, you got Little Samson? I love Little Samson and I agree it should be one of the IT games, but it's just always kind of funny to me. This is a cut box. A cut box video rental stores obviously used to do that. The funny thing on here is this is signed. He had it signed way back in the day. You know how I know it was signed way back in the day? Because I was like, he's like, yeah, I think you signed it. I was like, no, I didn't. I don't see my name signature anywhere. This was my old signature on the old channel because obviously all my friends call me Riff now. The homies call me Riff and I don't sign it, my old name anymore. Gabo's on here and funny enough, he said back in the day when Gabo signed it, he wasn't exactly sure who Gabo was and why he's signing it. But now he knows that Gabo is obviously a part of the show. So that's just really funny. So Ricky, if we buy this, do we have a little Samson box? I don't know. I could always like, maybe try, I bet you we could find a company who could make cardboard perfectly to fill the rest of it and be like 80% true box. I still remember saying that. I don't remember. Back in Portland. I have zero recollection. <laughs> Spike TV's 2006 video game awards skateboards? What? What? 2006 video game awards. This is it. Save the date, Friday, December 8th. The Spike, this is so cool. Obviously it mixes skateboarding. Scary enough, people, we are getting old. 2006 is vintage at this point. You know what I have to do though, right now, pause the camera. I have to see who won. I have to see who won this year, this award. That will determine if these are much cooler or not. Let's find out. After these messages, we'll be right back. So, the winner for the game of the year, I know there is so much love for this game. I'm ready for the comments. Go ahead, chat, go ahead. The winner was Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Literally a series I just don't care about in any way, shape, or form. But Critics' Choice winner, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Best original score, uh, best handheld game, New Super Mario Bros. I'll Ooh. take that. And best game on a movie or TV show, Lego Star Wars 2. Dare I say, uh, 2006, there's some fun ones, but overall, uh, those boards are cool, but just became this much less cool. Loser! You're a loser! You make me sick! So we, we took a detour to his art room, and we're not gonna pan around the whole room because we don't necessarily know if he wants us to show everything, but these are all vintage and super spicy. It's all like King Kong, Ultraman, Godzilla. Oh my gosh, these are absolutely beautiful. And I think these might be going somewhere really special soon, which I don't think I'm at will to say, but my gosh. Dude. Godzilla versus the thing. That one. Is this one's amazing. Awesome. Oh. Dude. Yeah, these are beautiful. And he has a ton of skateboards, man. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Even these Mars Attack ones. Yo, look at oh, Buff Godzilla. Shit. Buff Godzilla. Dude, he's. I love it too it's much. It's still dude. going. Oh. Well, too many spicy meatballs in one place. Right now 
now we're packing the car and we came to a deal on uh, everything, like everything. So again, we're just in the early stages of loading the car and I have to say, we didn't want the deal public with numbers and all that. The seller actually wasn't a big fan of that either, so we wanted to fully respect it as far as numbers go. So I'm awkwardly holding another item I bought on the way out along with everything else. I got this beautiful first four Mario statue. I thought it'd be perfect, perfect for the podcast studio. Uh, these are valuable. Uh, hard to find and it's just really clean and it's another piece I had to pick up. What we didn't mention too is that it's actually 106 degrees right now so uh, the heat is uh, coming in pretty strong for this but hey we're built for it. item right there that Ricky's wrapping is probably the most valuable, well not probably, definitely the, definitely most, the most valuable, valuable item by a long shot. And we're talking thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, literally. Long time to load up everything. It's super hot, but now we're going back home. And I have to say, the art of this, what we've learned is sometimes it's all about the art of the deal. What I mean by that is Ricky and I were willing to take on so much stuff that we honestly didn't want in order to get those banger items that we really did want. Ricky, what's the item that you had to have? What's that big one? Oh, it's that, uh, that, that employee award. It was huge, it was, it hurt me wallet. But it was, I had to have it. And for me, I was like, we have to go home with that flagpole Mario statue. So again, a big thing when you're making big deals, a lot of times I don't even count the junk items, right? When I'm making big bulk deals on stuff and I'm making offers, I'm not even looking at all the filler stuff. I consider that stuff the throw-ins. I kind of add up the prices of the big items that are desired, that are cool, that are unique. And that's the number that I kind of stick to, add a little to that to kind of make sense, to make the deal make sense. Again, we're not talking numbers. We're not talking numbers. It's not happening today, but we got good stuff. I know we did all this. In the end, we got really cool items, super rare, super unique, super valuable, but even in the end, on trips like this, just with the little bit of ray of sunshine of hope, we got Balloon Fight, which we didn't have, and we even got those two homebrews putting us at 753 NES games in the set. So we're still going, oh, and a text from Scott White, one of my favorite voice actors. If you've been hunting for retro video games or even treasures for any long amount of time at all, you know sometimes it can get stale. But days like today really remind you that the hunt can be forever going and you're always going to discover new things if you're willing to expand your horizons. My advice to everyone who's been doing this for a long time and you feel burnt out by doing the same things, mix it up. Try and meet new people, ask about connections, what else they collect, what they're into. That's how this kind of led to where it did for us. Always reach out, always expand, and I promise you, you're always going to enjoy the hunt. Thanks for watching.